let's talk about basic brush strokes. Practicing brush strokes helps teach and train your hand how to control your brushes better. Let me show you six of my favorite basic brush strokes. Two of my favorite brushes to use when practicing brush strokes is a flat brush and a round brush. Let me show you how to create basic brush strokes with each of these brushes. So let's talk about the basic brush strokes we're going to practice today. We're going to do a chisel stroke, a flat stroke, a comma stroke, a straight comma stroke, an S stroke, and a U stroke. What I'm using today is DecoArt Americana acrylic paints. They have a nice body to them, so I'm going to thin it with just a little bit of water to help that brush move and flow a little bit easier. My number one tip is to loosen up on that brush. If you hold it with a death grip, unfortunately the brush is not going to move and all of these strokes have a nice flow to them. So let's get started. So I'm using DecoArt Americana acrylic paints. They have a nice body to them, but for practicing stroke work, it does help to add a touch of water. So I'm going to dip the tip of my brush into water, pull the paint away from the puddle, work that water into my brush, to give an inky consistency to the paint. So I'm going to show you the strokes with the flat brush first, and then I'll come back and show you with the round brush. So on the flat brush, we have the chisel edge. We're gonna stand the brush up so that the handle is straight into the sky, and I'm going to pull thin little lines on the chisel edge of the brush. to get nice, fine, detailed lines. Get a little bit more paint in our brush. Now, the flat stroke. Again, starting on the chisel edge of the brush and just pulling the brush to create a stroke. The width of the stroke is the same width as the brush you're using, unless you push a little bit harder to create a bigger stroke. Notice the difference, no pressure and pressure applied to the bristles. Let's practice the comma stroke. Starting on the chisel edge of the brush, going to touch, apply pressure, slide, and as I'm coming around, I'm lifting up on my pressure and sliding on the chisel edge quite large compared to this one. As I used a number eight flat, now I'm using a number 12 flat. Let's practice that comma stroke going the opposite direction. Chisel edge, touch, push, pull, slide on the chisel edge to finish. Nice fluid motion, no twisting or turning of the brush. Chisel edge, apply pressure. As you're sliding toward the middle of that stroke, you're gradually lifting up on the pressure of your brush until there's no pressure on your brush and you're sliding on the chisel edge. So let's practice the straight comma. Again, with the flat brush, you have two flat sides, two corners, and the chisel edge. I like to do stroke work, commas, and straight comma strokes using a flat brush as well as a round brush. So we're gonna sit on the corner of the brush, push, pull, slide to the chisel edge to pull out of the stroke. Again, touch, push, pull, slide on that chisel edge, and slide out of the stroke. Now let's do a curved comma stroke. So I'm going to sit on the corner, apply pressure, Push, pull, as you're sliding around, you're gradually lifting up on that pressure to the chisel edge, sliding out of the stroke. Let's go the opposite direction. The handle of my brush again, straight up and down. Apply pressure, push, pull, slide, as you're gradually lifting up on that pressure to slide on the chisel edge of the brush, to slide out of the stroke. Now let's practice the U stroke. 
going to start on the chisel edge of the brush, slide down, apply pressure, start lifting up on your pressure, and slide up on the chisel edge. Let's go the opposite direction. Slide up on the chisel edge, apply pressure, slide to finish. And finally, the S stroke. So reload our brush with that inky consistency paint. If you need to add a touch more water, add that and mix it nicely with the paint. The S stroke. Let's go this direction first. So the chisel edge of my brush, I'm at, let's say 11 o'clock and four o'clock. If we're looking at a clock, I'm going to slide on the chisel edge of the brush, apply pressure to the left, stand up on the chisel edge of the brush and slide. Let's go the opposite direction. So I'm gonna slide on the chisel edge Apply pressure to the right, stand up on the chisel edge, and slide. It's a fluid movement of that brush. Slide, apply pressure, and slide. No twisting or turning of that brush. Now let's practice those with the round brush. Just like with the flat brush, I want a little bit of water mixed in with the paint to make an inky consistency. Touch more water. You also want to make sure on a round brush that you don't have the excess water around the ferrule. So just wipe that off if you do. All right. And notice the nice long hair on the end of a round brush. Many want to take that off, but it actually helps with the fine detail that you can get with the round brush. So we're going to touch just on the tip of that brush. Notice how it's starting to dry out a little bit. So I need to reload that brush with a little more paint. Nice thin detail lines. Notice that last one, I applied a little bit too much pressure. So you can see the difference between no pressure and a little bit of pressure. You can also create a flat stroke with the round brush, just like we did with the flat. And go the opposite direction. because that round brush will give you a round tip. You can create something that looks like an oval. Now let's paint the comma stroke. So starting on the tip of the brush, I'm gonna hold my hand back here. And again, you want to have a nice loose grip on that brush. So I'm going to touch the tip, apply pressure, push, pull, slide as you come around to the tip of the brush. Let's do that the opposite direction. Touch, apply pressure, slide, lifting up on your pressure till you get to the tips of the bristles. Nice fluid stroke. Push, pull, slide, lift to the tip. Now notice how my brush is moving. So I have it just a little bit back instead of straight up and down, just to touch back on the handle, apply pressure, pull and as you're nearing the center and lifting up on your pressure notice the handle of my brush is going more up and down till i'm on the tip of the brush okay let's create that straight comma stroke pushing on the tip of the brush apply pressure slide as you're lifting up on your pressure just slide out of that stroke on the tip of the brush just like we did before curved comma stroke push 
pull as you slightly are curving to lift to the tip of the brush right out of the stroke. In the opposite direction, push, pull, slide to the tips of the brush. So you can create a U-stroke with the round brush. I typically will leave that for the flat brush, but again, you can slide down on the tip of the brush, apply pressure, push, and slide up. Apply pressure, stand up to the tip. Yeah. All right, now let's create the S stroke with the round brush. Again, loading that up with the inky consistency paint, making sure I have a loose grip on my brush. I'm going to start with the handle straight into the air, slide, apply pressure to the left, and slide on the tips of the bristles. You go the opposite direction. Slide on the tips of the bristles, handle the brush straight up into the air, slide, apply pressure to the right, stand up, and slide to finish that stroke. So there we have it, six basic brush strokes to practice with a flat brush and a round brush. Be sure to download the basic strokes worksheet at decoart.com so that you can practice basic strokes today.